Hi, I'm Sean Pinder from the Department of Finance, and it gives me great pleasure to provide you with this introduction to the fascinating world of finance. Now, hopefully by the end of this, you'll know a little bit more about what it is that finance professionals actually do. So here's a quote from our department webpage that neatly summarises the focus of the finance discipline. Finance professionals are concerned with the management of assets to create wealth for investors or companies. The finance discipline examines how individuals, businesses and institutions raise funds to implement investment strategies and how they allocate these funds to a variety of investment opportunities. So that seems reasonable, right? But what does it actually mean? Let me try to give you a feel for the scope of the finance discipline through an example. You are a finance professional. Let's say that tomorrow morning on your way to work, you happen to walk past a water bottling factory that's just been opened by the multinational water bottling company Liquid Gold Corporation, or LGC for short. Now, as a finance professional, there are an almost infinite number of issues that we may be interested in with respect to this business. So for a start, let's assume that we're employed by LGC and consider the sort of finance issues that are raised internally on a day-to-day -day basis. An obvious investment question to start with is, why did it make sense for the company to invest in this particular factory versus a factory located somewhere else? Or even more basically, why invest in a water bottling factory at all? Why not simply hold on to the cash or invest in an entirely different business altogether? This is the investment decision. And to make this decision, we need to employ some objective tools that inform us as to whether the investment is likely to increase the wealth of the company and, just as importantly, whether this is the best use of the company's resources. So what sort of things are these investment tools going to reflect? Well, the tools will reflect what we expect to get out of the factory in terms of cash flows, as well as what we expect we're going to have to spend on the factory, both initially and into the future. The other thing that we're going to need to do is to think about the risk of the investment and make sure that what we get out of the factory adequately compensates us for that risk. So that's the big investment decision facing the company. But even once we choose to go ahead with the factory, we'll be faced with many other investment decisions. Such as, should we invest in bottling machine A or bottling machine B? Or should we re-engineer the production process so as to change the type of product that we're producing? These are all examples of the investment decision. But that's only one of the decisions that we face as a finance professional within LGC. Another issue for us is the financing decision. That is, where do we get the funds needed to fund the investment decision that we've just made? One of the key financing decisions a firm faces is whether it should use its own money to pay for the investment, or should the firm borrow funds? If we borrow funds, then do we borrow long term or short term? Do we borrow at a fixed rate or a variable rate? Do we borrow from a single bank or from the capital markets more generally? These are just a few examples of the types of financing decisions that we face as finance professionals employed by LGC. Another important question we need to answer as a firm is how the firm might manage risks. The risk appetite of any well-governed firm should be set by the firm's board of directors, who are of course the elected representatives of the company's owners, the shareholders but responsibility for the implementation of policies that reflect the firm's risk appetite falls upon the shoulders of the firm's management team. And this is where the finance professional has a significant role to play. To illustrate the importance of risk management to the Liquid Gold Corporation, LGC, let's think about some of the cost structures that they face. One of the key inputs into making plastic bottles is high density polyethylene, which is a petroleum based product that's derived from crude oil. Now, as you would expect, the cost of high-density polyethylene is closely related to the price of oil. Now, we know that oil prices have been extremely volatile over the years, which implies that the costs faced by LGC have also been fluctuating wildly over these same years. Often the objective of risk management is to try to flatten out the peaks and troughs in prices so as to create greater certainty for the firm with respect to budgeting for cash flows in the near to medium term. The finance professional can assist management in minimising the impact of these price fluctuations 
by designing strategies that allow the firm to, in this case, lock in the price of oil that they'll have to pay in order to produce their plastic bottles. So there's just three examples of areas in which the finance professional can assist an organisation in making optimal financial decisions. Investment, financing and risk management decisions. But the story doesn't finish there. What about outside of the firm? How might finance as a discipline inform how external stakeholders interact with the firm? Let's assume that the Liquid Gold Corporation is a listed company. That is, it has shares that are listed on the stock exchange. An individual investor in the stock market now has the opportunity to buy shares in the company and finance professionals are keenly interested in this opportunity. For example, one type of finance professional, the stockbroker, is interested in valuing the shares to work out if they represent a reasonable investment. Now, this will require them to assess the price of the shares and in so doing weigh up the risks inherent in the investment against the returns promised by that investment. Another professional, the financial planner, might be more concerned with how the investment in LGC fits in with the investor's wider portfolio of assets, as well as the investor's time frame for investment. And then there are those finance professionals that are interested in working out exactly how individuals make investment decisions, such as investing in Liquid Gold Corporation. And they do this by examining how electrical activity within the brain changes depending upon the decision made. This growing field of experimental finance involves significant collaboration between finance researchers as well as researchers in other fields such as neuroscience and psychology. These are just some areas where finance professionals have an interest in decision making by individual investors, but there are a host of other stakeholders that LGC are interacting with, which benefit from the expertise provided by their own finance professionals such as banks and other financial institutions who must make decisions about how much of their deposits they should lend out, as well as who they should lend to and what rate they should charge for lending. Liquid Gold Corporation is also affected by the finance professionals operating within the government. For example, tax policy will affect the viability of different investment projects, as will tariffs imposed by governments here and abroad. Finally, a firm can't forget its competitors who employ their own team of finance professionals to assist in setting their own prices, building their own factories and establishing their own investment, financing and risk management strategies. So I hope that gives you a taste of what it is that finance professionals do on a daily basis. As you can see, finance is a unifying discipline and that we take the information provided by the accountants, the theories developed by those in the disciplines of economics, management and psychology, and the statistical tools designed by our colleagues in econometrics to solve real financial problems faced by individuals, corporations, financial institutions and governments and regulatory authorities on a day-to-day -day basis. It really is a fascinating area to work in, and I look forward to meeting you out there in the markets sometime in the future.